One, two, three, react with Mr. Briggs. And Mrs. Briggs. So glad to have you with us Hello. once again, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us on this voyage of discovery, musical discovery. Now, today, I'm going to enjoy this reaction because he's my favorite number one, numero uno singer in the entire whole world. Do you know who am I talking about? Yes, we know. So, the only and one, Luis Miguel. Now, this song is really a beat. It's one of my favorite songs from Luis Miguel. It's, it's really up tempo. I love this song. Makes you want to dance. <laughs> That's it. All right, so. So, without further ado, let's listen to Luis Miguel. <laughs> What's this song called? Te propongo esta noche. Can you say that? I'll try. Te propongo esta noche. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> I like the bass. Ah, uh, he's such a great basis. He is gorgeous. about the I intro. I love it. You know what I really like about uh, this song? The way it begins, it's like, you know, a couple of instruments, the drums first, then the, the bass, yeah. then the guitar, and finally, oh. Luis Miguel. He's very telling here. Very telling. I saw him live once, and I remember one of the things that really captured my attention when I was sitting at the front. His teeth were so white. <laughs> So white and, and his eyes they're very green, very intensely, intensely green. He's gorgeous. Do you think what what do you think would happen if Luis Miguel ever visited Melbourne, Australia? Uh I can guess we'll buy VIP tickets. If and go see him. <laughs> if we manage uh. to get tickets. I'm telling you, Luis Miguel, if you're watching this video, you may not agree with me or you may I don't know. If you did come to Australia. I can guarantee that your tickets will be sold out in a few minutes. Yes. We had some Latin singers coming here. They're not even that big. It's skewer. Mm. And what, in 10 minutes, 15 minutes? Yeah. We're not going to give away their names, but they, they, mm. they're well known, but not as big as Luis Miguel. No. Remember that the guy that came here? That, um, yeah. And 15 minutes, sold out. Yes, we have a, a, a very large... Uh, Hispanic uh, Latin culture here in Australia, especially uh, Melbourne, Sydney, Queensland, and just all around Australia. <laughs> yeah, and um, every time like Latin singers come here, uh, the the tickets are sold out pretty quickly. So please, Mr. Luis Miguel, please mm. come. And you forgot to mention that the Italian community in Australia is huge yes. and most of my Italian friends because I got a few Italian friends I remember every time I used to go to their houses without an exception I swear in every house Italian house in Melbourne they had the Ragazzi di Oggi album because that album was edited here in Australia um, oh, I'll tell you a story after after we, we listen to this song Let's a bit listen. more to be continued Yes, 
boys. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm really, really jealous. I wish to be in that crowd. Yeah, you know, you guys, you guys are so lucky. I, I'm a bit jealous of, you know, some of the people living in the United States of America because you guys get all the Latin singers touring every year and you, you have such a wide range of performances. They have everyone going there. <laughs> Nobody it's not comes fair. to Australia. You know? <laughs> um, yeah, we had a few Latinos coming here, but uh, no one compares to Luis Miguel. I mean, you know, I've seen a few singers and some of the biggest Latin singers. Mm -hmm. I'm biased because I love Luis Miguel's music since I was a kid. But even if I wasn't biased, I, 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 don't, I, I, I hate making comparisons, but I have to be honest. I listen to the biggest Latin singers in the world and also the Anglo-Saxon singers. Big ones. I'm talking about big ones. You mm -hmm. know who I saw last yes. time. And from a vocal point of view, Luis Miguel is up there. Yeah. Uh, I went to Luis Miguel's concert and I liked it so much. And I paid for a really expensive <laughs> ticket. Really expensive. I liked it so much. I enjoyed it so much. The next morning, first thing I did, I went and I got another ticket. And I don't regret it because the second show, I ventured to say, was even better. And Luis Miguel was even more, I don't know, maybe the first night, he still did a fantastic job. But you know how he travels so much from mm -hmm. one place to the other? Maybe he was a bit tired. So he still did a good job. But the second night, my goodness, mm -hmm. wow. It was incredible. Anyway, yeah. I still haven't told them the story. I'll tell you right after this. Okay? Song, the lyrics are so popping with you. It means I propose, does it? Yeah, yeah it's like I propose tonight or we do something. Luna Yena, full moon. His voice is My apologies, I'll rewind it, I'll rewind it so we, we, we listen to the way he uses his voice here because he's absolutely spectacular. So I'm not going to ruin it for you, but my apologies, I have to cut it because if I don't, sometimes the videos never see the light of the day. And anyway. When he sings, like especially now, he's expanding his voice. It just feels like it's going into your chest, into your heart. What? <laughs> the way he projects his voice singer. is just unbelievable. Oh. Uh, this guy this guy moved me to tears when I went there and I wasn't the only one. Mm. I remember when he did a version of To Your Life with the clarinet or, or bow, uh, the saxophone was amazing. But anyway, yeah. what I wanted to tell you, when I first arrived in Australia back in long time ago, 1986, this is around the time when Luis Miguel used to sing Ragazzi di Oggi, Los Muchachos de Hoy, I went to a town called Warnable. You know Warnable? And I remember we were uh, camping in a caravan park near the beach and I heard Luis Miguel on the radio. And I'm thinking, is that Luis Miguel? Because, you know, and as, I, <coughs> as I'm getting closer, I see this group of teenagers sunbathing, young girls, probably 14, 15 years old, and they listening to Ragazzi di Oggi at full blast. You could hear in the entire beach, like everybody was listening to Luis Miguel. And back then, I remember uh, Luis Miguel was huge in Italy. Yeah. And we got a huge community in Australia, an huge. Italian community, like millions, millions. Yeah. And Luis Miguel is so big. And, and, and they're so loyal, the Italians. Yeah. Because the decades have gone by and they still remember him. Like my friend um, Jack, I remember... Um, the, the brother of the guy that got married in Brazil, Italians. Yes. He's got the Ragazzi di Oggi album and he's never sold it because he treasures it. He, he says it's yeah. a, an important part of his um, youth. But mm -hmm. anyway, I thought I would have shared that with you. 
Okay, so I'm going to rewind it because you got you have to uh, listen to I this beat. Concerts can be expensive, but this is it's worth, worth it. it. Yep. This one is wow. Wow. What a party! Is this New Year's Eve or something? No, no. <laughs> you don't need to, you don't need it to be New Year's Eve to have fun with this video. Why this is one of my favorite songs? Stop. I hope the video doesn't get, you know, cancelled because I want to go to that party. I know. <laughs> wow. Uh, mm -hmm. Look at look at the audience. They're all standing up. They all. Everyone oh, wow. is having a good time. You see, um, with this so this type fun. of show, you go and you see a, a world class artist. Yes, I agree. He's not an amateur. He's such a professional. He's been around singing for nearly 40 years and he's still up there. I mean, who else does that? Very mm -hmm. few. Very few singers, you know. Most singers, you know, they have one, two hit wonders and then what happens? Yes, um, unfortunately many artists do, um, do not succeed because they don't have the staying power like Louis Miguel. Mm. This guy is super, super talented and his audience are very uh, loyal to him and um, yeah, millions, millions follow him. His music, it just, um, if, if you can understand the lyrics or even just like have a look at them, like the way it's written, it really like sends you to another world. Like um, his music is very special. And, yeah. You know, you touch on something very important. Um, yeah, you're right. He's got millions of fans because Luis Miguel is part of our lives. Mm -hmm. We grew up with him. So he's not just um, just a singer. It's like part of our family, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, even though we might not have had the privilege of meeting him in person, every song, every album that he released also marked, you know, a part of our lives. Yes. So th there's a sentimental good feeling like a close friend that you've grown up with you know yeah yeah i have to say that my husband adores luis miguel he is his number one fan in australia for years for years <laughs> ever since he was little so yeah yeah i've been i've been listening to luis miguel since 1982 that's right with the song dos enamorados all the way to today but anyway, um, I wanted to tell you also, I'll try finding some never seen footage of Luis Miguel that I got somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, I got these VHS. They used to advertise Luis Miguel's albums in Australia on SBS. Mm -hmm. And they show it on, on television, on Australian television a few times. And I had a videotape with those, with, with the footage. So I'll see if I can find it somewhere, somewhere in the garage. And if I'm able to transfer the file, I'll show you. Mm, anyway, good. let's finish watching the song.
Wow, powerful. Okay, so now I'll find Wow, what a show. I can still feel the electricity. Oh, I just want to be there. You know, <laughs> we'll have to visit Mexico or the States or go to South America, but we got to see Luis Miguel live. I absolutely love his music. I never had the, the opportunity of listening to this song live. I hope he, he performs when if I ever see him again. It's uh, very rare to find like classics like this guy. Like, you know, there's um, only a few I can count on my hands, mm. like Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson. Um, Beatles, Paul McCartney. Beatles, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm. And a few others too. But Luis mm. Miguel is one there, of them man. to me. Oh, definitely. Look, uh, you guys, I don't know if you realize how talented this guy is. Um, I, I, I think that uh, the fact that he's been around for more than four decades almost. And you said that he he is like the Elvis of, in the Spanish world. Well, it, it's obviously he's he's got his own style. Um, yeah. uh, he he did he does like El, uh, Elvis and the Beatles and so on. We all we all enjoy different type of music, but he's huge. He's got like um, what, what I mean. I knew when Luis Miguel releases an album, there's gonna be at least a few hits in the album, and. Even with the last, with the latest album, the Mexi Mexican band, it, it oh, won I the Grammy that. because it was the best-selling album. It's a really good this album. This guy, this guy, besides being a talented artist, he's a huge company. He is. You yeah, know how many right. people work thanks to him as well. He's, he's yeah. like an industry, a musical genius as well because he also genius. writes and and uh, not many people know this. Luis Miguel has written a lot of the songs as well. He plays musical instruments, so he's not just a singer. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Have a look at his lyrics. I'm telling you, and listen to the music. Wow. I'll just say one more thing. Okay. Yeah. And you know what? I've got something in common with Luis Miguel. I have the same name as his mum. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Actually, when I met Mrs. Briggs, I dedicated the song Marcel. <laughs> Maybe we should react to that. Yeah. Yes, we have well, to. Well, like Luis Miguel's mommy, also from Europe. Yes. So. <laughs> anyway, it's been so lovely to see you yes. and we hope to see you again. Thank you for listening to Mr. Briggs. And leave some comments and suggestions. We'll see you next time. Adios. Bye-bye.